So it turns out the uh, one they gave me with the little emblem on it, the logo, it, uh, I don't think it works as good as one of these does. Okay. Okay, that did work. When I first brought it home, I like did something and it did something weird. And so I wasn't sure 100% if this was working the way it should be. Let's just try them all while we're here. Lock. Good. Blinking. Unlock. Good. That's number two. Lock. Good. Unlock. Good. Last but not least. Lock. Okay, they all work. I'm not sure what happened when I first brought it in. Just seemed to not do it. Maybe I did it too quickly or whatever. Looks like there may be a midway catch. Was there a midway catch? Yeah, there's something up at the top that stops it from shutting or having to open all the way. So we'll open it all the way. Uh, there's a stopper right there, which is good. Another interesting thing we noticed about this and what they did when the people before us had it is they put these on and that stops it from opening up all the way. So let me show you. And it slowly gets to this point and then it stops. And I guess that's what they wanted. When you first buy a sprinter, uh, this I believe is just a piece of steel and this is a magnet. And uh, when it opens up all the way, it kind of snaps and, and hooks up onto that. That way the door doesn't fly shut all by itself. Carol and I, oh cool. So that's another thing we noticed that was an add-on. This step is an add-on. You can either have that or a trailer hitch. And of course the people didn't need a trailer hitch. So the step will be handy, I believe. Uh, they also had these handles that they installed yesterday. Carol's like, I want to see what's behind these walls. So uh, we pulled these little caps off and there's a screw underneath and then it's drilled right in to the metal here, here. And so that's all the pieces that we took out. No the sawdust, eh? Yeah. So uh, we're definitely gonna pull all this out and we're gonna insulate. So all these walls are gonna come out. We'll try and keep them in order maybe, just so that we really understand how to put them back so we don't have to re-drill anything. Um, but again, it's, it's a free wall and we don't have to do anything with it except maybe paint it if we really wanted to. But I'm thinking when it's white, it'll keep it nice and light in here. That one was broken. That's why we decided to take that one off first. Um, and then I also, Carol noticed when we were uh, at the dealership picking this baby up, uh, we, she noticed that there was a thing on the wall or a poster or something saying uh, that they'll store your tires for you for the year. And so I called them up yesterday and it was $300. I'm like, oh, welcome to Mercedes Benz. 300 bucks to store three tires. I'd rather use that money for something else. So uh, we are gonna put them uh, just behind the shed. Uh, there's a secure spot there that will put them there and then that will get rid of them. I'm sure if you pull a pin in there and pull it out, it's probably, uh, I'm guess reg regular like five bolt pattern. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just guessing that's what they are. Oh, they, they, they're not rimmed. Ah, well that sucks. So I thought they were rimmed. Um, I guess it's still, look at that. Lots of, lots of winter left on that tread. Yeah, I thought they were rimmed. So I'll make it a different, definitely a little bit lighter. I'm sure there's a tool that you use to, uh, hook in here and pull that out but it's probably just a five bolt pattern just like this chances are that's the same size wheel in height so i don't think that's anything bigger so that's all right uh, i was thinking that maybe because it was a bigger truck they might have like that six bolt or like again i don't 
I've never owned a vehicle this big and needed large tires like that, so I'm new to the game. But, uh, so let's store these somewhere. Again, at least they're definitely lighter than I was expecting. So let's get these out. We made a couple decisions yesterday. Definitely we want to put a six foot bed and we'll be lying this way. We're also going to try and see how much room we need left to right because uh, we watched a couple videos where they had like a cabinet here and then of course cabinets up here and there, but you don't want them to be in the way of you sitting up. Uh, so, and then they had like little uh, spots that went down into this will be called the garage so your bed is on top of your garage and that's where you store your bikes and all your accessories and all the things you need lawn chairs whatever it's under the bed and the bed i think we decided it's going to probably come to about here which is about the six foot area uh, a video we watched last night they actually had a shower right here that went into the washroom which was right here and uh, what you did is you pulled this little blind across, a water resistant blind, and then one in front of the bed. And so you could just stand right here and have a shower. And they had like a rain, uh, one of those rain showers. Uh, and again, if you wanted to use the washroom, then you'd pull this one, pull this one, and that's where the toilet was. Then they had uh, a nice couch that they built with uh, above, cabinets up here and then over here they had um, a kitchenette kind of thing that came to here another amazing thing they had was a screen door that he actually made out of wood and screen and then this area was like permanently screen and that was an actual screen door uh, but we've watched so many different videos of people and uh, their ideas so it will all work we're definitely going to put it in number one is the swivel chairs number two is the ceiling fan we're probably gonna pull out the floor. We'll probably keep the wood for the floor because uh, it's another thing we won't have to purchase and then maybe put wood on top of it. But we'll keep this as like a nice secure floor. This is definitely coming out. Another thing I have to look through in the garage is um, torque wrenches. And I think I have them. I think Carol, was Carol's dad, when he sold his cottage, he gave me a lot of his tools and I think we have like a set of torque. So this panel comes out and then we're gonna just see what it looks like with this panel in because we might actually be able to utilize that to uh, put snappers on and we'll be able to hang a privacy blanket from there. We could also obviously do it, tack it in from the top, but we definitely wanna insulate this. So we're gonna watch a couple more videos on insulating. Again, thank you very much to all the people who have uh, reached out to us offering uh, your expertise and help. Uh, that will definitely come in handy because I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Uh, we're gonna be, right now, the only knowledge I have is just from watching videos. If any of you guys out there know anybody who uh, knows how to install solar panels and all that stuff uh, with a kind of a roof rack kind of situation, and then we could bring the cables in and plug them straight into the Blue Eddy while we're driving. We could also have it plugged into the uh, cigarette lighter and as we're driving, it could just be charging all the time. That way we always have power every single night. Again, that's gonna be temporary until we possibly get a full battery system in here. And we'll use the Blue Eddy for stealth camping. And when we wanna be outside this vehicle, it will start definitely be a great tool in here. I'm definitely gonna be still using the Jackeries. Uh, I've got three, um, 
power banks now, and they're all going to be uh, very helpful for Carol and I. But uh, again, first things first is that wall has to come out. So maybe we should just go and look. Maybe we could surprise Carol. She's out visiting her dad right now. Uh, I need to finish editing, but I also need to make a vlog for you guys today as well. So I'm going to take that wall down. Let's go see if we can find those torque wrenches. Unfortunately, I can't find it. There's a lot of stuff to go through and uh, I won't be able to do that right now. But uh, that's all I can kind of do for today. But again, number one, take the, take the wall out, get swivel seats, fan, bed, kitchen area, possibly solar, possibly a window. Uh, one of the windows like I want is either the full size window but with the flap that comes up whether it's this side or the other side I think the other side would be better and then maybe put a window in here and that way when we're opening up the door we can see who is out there before we open the door I guess we could always just peek around here but I think that window is like a thousand dollars there's another one that we're thinking about getting which is just like uh, like a rectangle and again it flips out which is good because if it's raining you can have it open and, and uh, you don't have to worry about that oh well that's all we have time for today on that it closes nice and easy I like that you gotta be careful not to close this door first because <laughs> you'll snap that thing off I'm guessing nice perfect there we go Where's my kitties? Where's my kitty? There you are. I bought the cats uh, a tin food because uh, they've been eating dry food for a while. And every once in a while, Ninja doesn't just doesn't agree with his stomach. And we were, we've tried several different foods, and uh, so today I bought them uh, a couple tins of food, and so. It's like a gravy and chicken. So he ate a little bit of that. He hasn't thrown up yet that I know of, which is good. Uh, but this is the stuff that he throws up once in a while. So we're trying to figure out uh, Ninja's diet. Sunny loves this stuff too. And Sunny's over here. Hey, Sunny. You enjoying your day? Yeah, Princess. Princess Sunny. You always look away. You always look the wrong way. Always have to come around. Always have to come around. Get your eyes. Your beautiful little eyes. Yes, 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 yes. So these are the foods we bought. So this is the uh, extra gravy. That's the one I bought. Uh, Sunny, I put that one on the floor over here. And Sunny ate... Oops, sorry Ninja. Did I scare you, buddy? Come here. So Sunny ate most of it. She loves canned food. And uh, so there was this one. Turkey... Turkey and giblets, and this was turkey and giblets as well. As well. I thought I'd try give them the gravy sauce one first. It's uh, with turkey, that's what it was. I thought it was chicken. I looked at a whole bunch of different kinds, so. Carol can give those to them as need be. You gonna try it again? Did you wanna try it again? What's up? Carol let you out this morning. Yeah, you had some out time. Ninja loves his outdoor time for sure. Likes to chase the squirrels. He uh, likes to go out this way and then along the side of the house. And then he sits and uh, waits for the squirrels to come. And just like this guy and then chase him up the tree. And Ninja gets about that high into the tree and gets sap all over him. We gotta clean it off, but that's uh, his entertainment is to chase squirrels. Let's hope that uh, squirrels don't turn on them. Like a gang of squirrels attacking Ninja. Poor kitty. 